Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're doing a quick unboxing. Um, this is a package I uh, just got in the mail from Lego Shop at Home. Um, and there's some good stuff in here that I'm excited to uh, excited to get out so I can start working on. Um, so I have, I think, two, maybe three more packages from Lego Shop at Home that I'm really sad I haven't got here yet. Um, and those are from Lego's Breaks and Pieces. Um, and I'm really, really dying to get into some of my part out projects, um, but we've been waiting a few weeks for them, hadn't got them yet. Um, we ordered this the other day, um, which you may have seen in one of our videos. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about it. So uh, let's start from the top and work our way down. All right, so we got a really awesome promo here. Um, this is the uh, Vintage Taxi 40532. Um, this is the first one of these that we have um, we didn't actually order anything whenever they were running this promo originally. So very happy to have this and add it to the collection. I think it's going to look really nice in the Lego city. Next up, we got this, uh, really awesome Wolverine mech. So whenever this was released, um, I was very hyped, very excited to get a new version of Wolverine. So I'm very excited to, um, add this to my X-Men collection. Um, and, uh, I think those are actually prints. Those look like prints on his chest and the belt buckle area. So if that's the case, that's really cool. Um, maybe we can do something with that in the future. Um, but yeah, excited to have this. It's like such, it's such a small little box for a Lego set. Um, but, uh, but yeah, very cool. Excited to have this in our collection now. Um, and then we got one of the new Easter Chick promos. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, not sure what we're going to do with this. Maybe let my daughter play with it um next weekend and uh maybe she'll have fun with it um but yes yeah, so we got i think we have one more small set in here yeah there we go so we picked up the new um marvel uh infinity saga this is like the um in-game minifigure pack um so that korg is exclusive to this set for sure um valkyrie and Thor, I don't think so. I think we've had versions of those two, or not versions, but those those same torsos in um, other sets before. Um, so we will be getting the Goat Boat um, releasing in a couple weeks, I believe, and that will have another version of Korg in there. So I think that'll be three all together. We have the Korg from um, Bro Thor's apartment, um, and then the Korg from this set, that's two, and then there's a new one that's going to be in the Goat Boat. So a total of three, so that's really cool. Um, they really turned out those three minifigures super fast. I'm pretty sure, like, about six months ago was when we saw the introduction of that Korg minifig, um, with that new headpiece. So, you know, six months into LEGO and you've already got three different figures, like, it's pretty crazy. Um, normally that doesn't go that fast, but... Really excited to have this, excited to have it in our collection. I can't wait to get this assembled and uh, get it displayed. But as you can see, we have a all upside down bookshop. So let's go ahead and flip this bad boy over and let's talk about it. All right, so um, we picked up a new, um, new set of the bookshop. Um, I've already purchased two of these in the past. Um, and with those two sets, I was able to build essentially what would be a supersized version of the bookshop. Um, but my kiddos got a hold of it, you know, a few months ago, they tore them apart. And then I just kind of tossed all the pieces, um, in bags and boxes. So that way, eventually when we had some time, we'd be able to rebuild them. Now I have already done that with some of my other sets over there, like the assembly square police station, daily bugle. There are videos on the channel for those. Um, and then this was as far as I've gotten on the, um, bookshop. So, um, this is the current state, the current supersized state. But now that we have this set, I'm thinking about adding an additional level to this. Um, and then with this set, this side here, so I'll be able to build this side fully because this is currently, um, the condition that it's in. Um, now it's going to be, it would be, I didn't necessarily have to buy this set, but, um, going through and finding all these like really small pieces in the mess that was, <laughs> I essentially had all this stuff just dumped into a giant box. Um, so, you know, I kind of went through and I picked out 
the same color bricks that are associated with this build. I've got some of the larger pieces here, like the base plate itself, part of the roof section, you know, part of this um, second, tour, second story section here with the arches. Um, but this will help me get this modular rebuilt um, and constructed a lot quicker. And it'll give me the opportunity to add another level to this section here, which I'm really excited about. Um, so that's why we ordered this set. Not to mention, we did get the vintage taxi whenever we ordered that. So, you know, that's a win. Um, I look at these gift with purchases for about like a $30 value, you know, plus you're getting the VIP points, which is like kind of like 5% cash back when they're running normal VIP sales. So that's a plus. Um, I normally use my VIP points to order bricks and pieces stuff. Um, but then we also got this Easter chick promo. You know, this doesn't have a whole lot of value to me. Um, you know, and my daughter's, you know, not really interested in it. You know, she's kind of in that stage where she's growing out of stuff that's a little, a little less childish. She's starting to get into more of the, um, adult themes like architecture and stuff like that. Um, and you know, my boys are a little bit too young to be super into this. So, um, it does have value, but just not a lot to me. So, um, that's why we did pick this up so we could pick up those two, which is essentially like getting this set at a pretty deep discount, which you can't beat. Um, but yeah, so we're currently working on rebuilding our modulars. We have to tackle this one, obviously. Um, this is as far as we've gotten with the corner garage. Um, so I have everything sealed in here um, for, um, I think for one, two, for these three levels. Everything that was included in um, the first level, somehow I opened. I'm not sure why I did that. Maybe I was missing parts or something. I don't know. Um, but there's essentially one full corner garage there. And then over here in this box, we've got more corner garage stuff, um, like just pieces of the modular itself that need to go in there. So we'll be able to build a supersized corner garage. And then I have another corner garage up here. Um, so we might do the rebrickable pub for that build. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I know the price on that has jumped up. We might sell it and then use the profits from that to purchase a retired modular that we don't have. So not really sure which way we want to swing with that, but um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but that's going to do it for this unboxing video. I'm very excited to um, jump into these modular projects and bang these out. I'm sure I'll have a video on the channel soon about that. But um, if you like this uh, video, go ahead and smash the like button, drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the unboxing. Um, and if you're not subscribed, click that bell notification. Um, so that way you can um, get more fresh content whenever we put it out. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.